So it's been getting harder and harder for Apple to separate the regular iPhone from the Pro line. We've seen them use more premium materials like stainless steel instead of aluminum, more cameras, better quality cameras. But this year, the iPhone 14 Pro is gonna be getting an updated chip, while the iPhone 14 regular is gonna be sticking with the A15 chip from the Pro line of this year's iPhones. With that said, in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly what we can expect from the iPhone 14 and 14 Pro, and what we can expect in terms of release date and price. Starting off with the design, obviously from the front, the biggest redesign is gonna be the notch. For the iPhone 14, we're expecting to keep that same notch that we see on the iPhone 13s, but for the iPhone 14 Pro models, the Pro and the Pro Max, we're expecting to see a smaller notch with a pill and a little punch out hole. Right now, that seems to be the consensus across the industry that this is what Apple is actually going to ship with the Pro line. I'm on the fence about that decision. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to take it. I want to see it in person and actually use the phone and then make my decision from there. We also know that the iPhone mini is going to be no more. So you're expecting to see a 6.1 and a 6.7 inch iPhone 14 and a 6.1 and a 6.7 inch iPhone 14 Pro. This is great for the people who opt to get the regular iPhone 14 because now you're gonna be able to get a bigger size device for less than $1,000. You're getting the max size for a little bit less money. Now let's talk about the actual chip that's gonna be powering these devices. And like I said in the beginning of the video, the iPhone 14 is gonna get the same A15 chip that was in the iPhone 13 Pro. But what we know about the iPhone 13 Pro is that it had a five core GPU instead of a four core GPU. So right now in the iPhone 13, there's two different versions of the A15, one with a four core, one with a five core. The iPhone 14 is gonna get that five core version of the A15. But that's not all. We're also expecting it to go from four gigabytes of RAM to six gigabytes of RAM. That one extra GPU core and two extra gigabytes of RAM is gonna be a decent upgrade if you're going from the 13 to the 14. I know it may not seem like much having one extra GPU cores and two extra gigabytes of RAM, but when you look at the way Apple optimizes their chips and optimizes their devices from the hardware and software, Apple can do a lot with two gigabytes of RAM and one GPU core. It's not like Android where to see a big difference, you need to add maybe three, four, five gigabytes of RAM or add these massive leaps in terms of chips. I think if you go from the iPhone 13 to the 14, you will see a difference, but the biggest difference is gonna be going from the iPhone 13 to the iPhone 14 Pros. These devices are gonna get the updated A16 chip, which is expected to be much faster, and you're also gonna be getting that six gigabytes of RAM across the board, so you are gonna be able to do multitasking and running a bunch of apps in the background without them falling off on you. So there's another feature that Apple might might be pulling off this year at the iPhone event, and that is adding a satellite connectivity feature. Basically, we've all been in those situations where we don't have any service, we can't make a phone call, or we can't send a text. Apple is gonna put a new modem inside of these iPhones that's gonna allow you to send a character-restricted text to anybody in the world without having a signal. Basically, this is gonna work via satellite. You're gonna be able to connect your phone to a satellite and send a text to somebody. Instead of a green or a blue bubble, this is gonna show up as a gray text bubble showing you that, hey, this is using the new satellite technology to send this text message. I think this would be a game-changing feature. It's getting harder and harder for Apple to get people to upgrade from iPhone to iPhone. I think adding this feature as an iPhone 14 Pro exclusive will be a feature that's gonna get a lot of people to go from the iPhone 13 Pro to the iPhone 14 Pro. Now, in typical Apple, fashion this device is expected to release in september alongside this device we're also expected to see the apple watch series 8 so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on my video in terms of leaks and speculation on that product and in a typical apple fashion these devices are going to start out at around seven to eight hundred dollars going up to as much as fifteen hundred dollars for the pro models so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on my future leaks future updates on these phones and i'll see you guys in the next one peace